Welcome to Rope Dropping Knowledge, where we guide you through the magic of Disney. One sixty. Oh, I forgot to tell you to play the Hulk, the She Hulk number. What She Hulk number? When you call the eight 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 seven seven She Hulk, are oh. you able to play it? Um, I don't know. Let me see. I probably you like know how, got like, rid of it already. You, you did it with the Bruno song and everything. Oh. Well, maybe I'll bring it up when we we do the Marvel stuff. Okay. Uh, I'd have to find it in my files. But... I have it, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah. I texted you. Just look for my text. So we went back to the parks, which was fun. <laughs> After a month of being out. I know. We, we sound so spoiled because we're just like, oh, it's oh, been a after month. After a month. It's been a whole month. <laughs> But yeah, we and, and honestly, we almost didn't go this time because, like I said, you had your choice between Comic Con and this. So yeah, because we were blocked on every Saturday in July. Yeah, so we're just we like, went on a Friday. Yeah, so we we'll... had to take time off. Um, but then Saturday we went to see your friend who had a birthday. Mm-hmm. Well, your friend's husband. Well, I guess they're both your friends technically. <laughs> so happy birthday, Johnny. Happy five oh. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Mm-hmm. And that was kinda cool because we get to see, you know, the kids. Their yeah, kids. they're so grown now. Man. I know. The one kid's like an adult. Is an adult. <laughs> Maybe I could, I didn't remember them at the wedding because at our wedding because they were tiny. Yeah, they looked different. <laughs> they were like, tiny. Like, who are these people? You know, now one has like a boyfriend from Portugal or something. There. Um, no, um, Prague. Czech, Prague. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. <laughs> He's a giant Prague. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just got back from a trip to Prague. Yeah. With like, his family. Dang. Like, weren't you just like running around and like got <laughs> tables and stuff? Like <laughs> yeah, she was like maybe a teenager. Younger. At our wedding. No, because our wedding was like almost seven years ago. So I don't know. Oh. To... So that's a while. Yeah. We grew up so fast. Yeah, I remember because her sister was little and we had a Tiny. candy bar. Mm-hmm. And then she, you know, made her little candy bars and then she's like, oh, you know, look what <laughs> I have or something. I re- yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was fun. Mm-hmm. So I guess, you know, technically you guys will be listening to this. Well, most of you will listen to this on Friday if your name's not Dole with Float. <laughs> and that means you have one day left to enter our thunderous giveaway for July. That is the Thor giveaway where we're giving away a Legends action figure Thor in the Ravenger gear, a Loungefly Thor purse, and a Thor trucker hat, Strongest Avenger which he wears in the movie and it has all like the Sharpie cross outs of everything. <laughs> so it was just like in the movie. So, uh, and I think those are sold out at Epic hero shop. So if you want to get one, you got to win this contest. Yeah. And all you have to do is direct message us via Facebook, Instagram, email, uh, info at rope dropping com, or make a post on our blog, the blog that contains this giveaway. What is your either your favorite superpower, or if you could have a superpower, what would it be? That's it. And for every medium you use, you get an additional entry. So Facebook and Instagram would be two entries, for example. Must be 18 years or older, live in the United States. This contest ends Saturday, July 30th, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Must be, did I already say 18 years or older? Yes. All right. Well, make sure. All these little kids trying to get in, and their mom and dads are going to be calling me. <laughs> Why are you giving my daughter this stuff? Like, well, I don't think they will. They're getting free stuff. I don't know. You never know. There's a lot of weirdos out there. <laughs> like, hey, don't be giving your daughter a phone. <laughs> <laughs> you bought her a phone. She's listening to podcasts. It's on <laughs> you. All right. Um, 
But yeah, we went back to the parks yeah, first time in over a month. And you know what? It's, it was hot, but it was pretty much hot because there was no cloud cover. Yeah, there was a breeze. It wasn't as humid as it was. It wasn't ninety degrees. Times. I think it only got up to eighty five. Yeah, but so, it didn't feel too bad like it was when it was seventy something and super humid. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you got to check that humidity factor. And that with global warming, climate change, or whatever you want to call it, it's messing up my jersey weather, man. <laughs> because it used to be when we first started going. Well, when we first started wearing jerseys. It was like jerseys, 75 degrees over low. Yep. That was easy. It was an easy thing to chart. Now it's like, okay, you got to check the humidity. Now you yeah. got to do this. Now you got to do this. Is there a fire in NorCal? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's wow. Like, oh, you man. Drink all the paper straws you want. It's still not helping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we went back and... We started off at Disneyland. No one won our. Um, I don't even update people anymore. But yeah, obviously nobody won. Won the wallet, our Kate Spade wallet. So or nobody found us. Nobody found us. Approached us. So we're gonna have it again the next time. When's that? That's next Saturday, right? August sixth. August sixth. So if you find us then, you get the Kate Spade wallet. This is even an upgraded. Well, not upgraded, but a newer generation than the last one we gave away. Mm-hmm. So. Hurry up and find us. All right. Um, but yeah, we even updated. I think our updates for the wallet were even cooler because we were doing music and videos. And, yeah, I got 8,000 views. Yeah, I got 8,000 views. The day after. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should make videos the day before. Yeah. Like my sister told me to do. She's like, make it two days before. And I'm like, well, I don't have a scenery of the castle the two days before yeah because we're not there we <laughs> wanted to we we did the update to say hey we are here we're sitting here at jolly holiday we're here at sonoma terrace like we're trying to make it easy for people but you can't do that like a day before we're not there yeah <laughs> i guess i can make a cool video and say we'll be there you know whatever yeah and then but there's just not cool disney castle background yeah i guess i'll do it with art Junk, junk, <laughs> but Disney memorabilia. Uh, house stuff. junk. <laughs> popcorn buckets. I don't know. So, <laughs> there's that. What does my niece want? She always texts me during a freaking, can I have That's money? That's why I silence my phone so I don't see any notifications. It's not even money for Uber. <laughs> money for Xbox Live. Oh, isn't that like $25, the gift card? She said $10. She's graduated high school. I should be giving her money for Xbox Live. <laughs> uh. She should be like Kamala Khan, the actress. She you know, got her. She got casted her senior year in high school. I know. I should be like a tiger parent. <laughs> Why can't you be like Iman? Huh? Yeah, well, that's huh? her name. I don't even know yeah, her name. Yeah, Iman. Yeah, be like Iman. Get a job. <laughs> Get a good gig. Get in the MCU. She's she's nineteen. She's in the MCU. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> If that's the case, what am I doing? <laughs> I, I should I should be nice because she knows that I'm like, I mean, we don't know if she's actually going to end up going, but she did get accepted into um, William Penn University. Um, we think it's going to be a wrestling scholarship. Mm. Haven't seen the numbers yet. That's going to determine it. <laughs> but yeah, got the whole welcome package. So she did get accepted. And uh, so congratulations to her. We will see what happens. A lot of people are like, hey, isn't it pretty late in the game? It's like, yeah, we do we do things late. <laughs> well, that's cool. But yeah. Yeah, she got accepted and she didn't even take the SATs. <laughs> oh, wow. That's how much they want her. <laughs> mm. Slamming people on their necks. Mm-hmm. Boom. That's my niece. My baby girl. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll give you $10. <laughs> <laughs> I want a daughter, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can give them money for... Ubers and <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's all I'm good for. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it, uh, it was a pretty fun day. You know, um, the end was kind of weird, but I think it started off. What do we do? We had our. Well, I guess we ate. We ate. <laughs> we always start our day off at Jolly Holiday. <laughs> oh, sometimes, yeah. Last night was we ate the burrito. Um, was sandwich. that the last time? Yeah, oh. we started at. 
Well, not the last. Yeah, I think so. One of the times. Yeah. And then we had, um, well, what did we do? I don't even think we went on any major rides. Yeah, we were just like, whatever. It's too hot. We were just want to chill. We just haven't been back in a while. Enjoy yeah, the scenery. It's, it was too hot to like get excited and do anything. <laughs> um, we did go on Thunder Mountain. That's always good. Um, and then, well, because we had a reservation to it for yeah. Magic Key Terrace. So. Yeah, I mean, Tracy makes reservations. It just kind of messes up our day. No. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> otherwise we wouldn't have what to talk about today she's trying to make a point her voice goes up like six octaves <laughs> <laughs> so if you said you enjoyed what we had at magic Teak terrace and i'm gonna hit you because you didn't want to go in the first place oh that's what my mom would always say you complain and you eat it and you like it and you get a smacking <laughs> Funny thing is, is your mom wouldn't smack anyone. <laughs> I know, she's, just most, all talk. she's the most docile person. <laughs> no, she chased me with a wooden spoon. I don't think she ever smacked me though with it. She just like threatens with the wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old days. Um. So yeah, Disney. Disney was cool. I mean, it's always nice to be back. Um. Didn't go on Pirates. We didn't go on any of the major rides. Uh, jumped over to DCA pretty quick. Went to Magic Key Terrace. I guess Magic Key Terrace is probably the big standout of what we did. Uh, oh, we did Toy Story Mania. Yeah. What did we do before we went to DCA besides Thunder Mountain? I think that's it. Because a lot of rides were down temporarily, like Space Mountain, Rise of the Resistance, of course. Mm-hmm. And um, Indiana Jones were down, so all the other rides had a big Just wait time. Huge. Oh, we went on Small World. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> standby, though. It wasn't even, yeah, we didn't even use a, a lightning lane. Yeah, and then, you know, Toontown's closed. So, yeah, the, the lines are going to be really vicious, you know, I think for the rest of the summer. Just Yeah, mm-hmm. especially with a few more rides closing for refurbishment. Mm-hmm. Up until maybe August twenty fifth, maybe that's <laughs> maybe. I think August twenty fifth is a good day to go because if they don't announce anything, as far as yes. Magic Keys, because that last year on August twenty fourth, we went, we went, and it was so dead. It was like going during the pandemic. We did every ride in the park. We were with yeah. Dustin and Maricor. Yeah, and we every we ride. just swept the park. So it's a day before Magic Keys going. So maybe we should go again on August twenty fourth. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we had fun. Um, goofy Sky School, Lightning Lane stretched all the way out, oh, <laughs> almost yeah. to the water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that part of it is also because people saw a big line and they thought that's the standby line. They did so, that a lot. They did that a lot, so there were a couple people who got to the front, like, "Oh man, we were in the wrong line," you know. So mm-hmm. they thought, "Yeah, that was the standby line." That happens at Space Mountain too, because there's just no rhyme or reason, and not enough cast members to tell you where to go, stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, then you know, Magic Key Terrace, but then at the end of the day, <laughs> man, I had Monsters Inc. And all of a sudden, Genie Plus just went down. Yeah, nothing showed up on the app. We're like, hey, what's going on? And we were sitting at Sonoma Terrace drinking our beer. And I was like, oh, man, do you want me to go ask? Guest services is right there. I'm thinking I just walk up and, you know, they'll tell me what's going on. No, there was a huge line. Yeah. And Brian showed a a, a story. <laughs> One With guy, the curb like, um, yeah, so it was a huge line. I was like, all right, everybody has the same issue. Let me go to the other guest services area next to near Carthay Circle. And it was a long line, too, but it was shorter than the one where Mater's is. So I waited, and yeah, Genie Plus is down only for DCA. Yeah. And so they said, just if you already have a fast or a lightning lane. So this is actually the most important thing. Because I don't think people knew this, because I didn't know this. But go, go ahead and tell them. If oh. you have something on 
Yeah, so they said, they asked me, do you have something selected already? I said, yes, Monsters, Inc. They're like, oh, just scan your ticket. Use that as the scan, your barcode for your magic key ticket. That reads it. Yeah. So. Well, um, your, your ticket, or your magic key or your ticket or whatever you have. Yeah. Any lightning lane reservations you have are linked to your actual ticket. Yeah, just like in the old days. Remember? Yeah, I mean, but who would have thought it? Yeah, <laughs> but um, Cause or they have I don't know if runs. that's how it is, or it's just because that's how it is because their system is down. I don't know. I think that's just how it is because how else would they transfer all those things to people's tickets? That's true. Within a few minutes, or so. And then I asked, well, then what happens if I want to select a new one when I'm done writing Monsters Inc? He's like, oh, get back in line. And I'm like, what? He's like, sorry, that system's down. That's all we could do is manually give you your whatever. I'm like, Ugh, lame. So like. I don't know what happens if, like, for us, it was cool because that was probably going to be our last ride anyway. Yeah, we were, we were just done. like, whatever. But I heard if you go over to the Chamber of Commerce, which is DCA's version of City Hall, the line is even shorter. Mm-hmm. So nobody knew, you know, everyone's like in the middle of the park. So they're yeah. just like standing wherever they see a plaid kiosk. But it, if you go to the Chamber of Commerce, it is a shorter line. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just wondering what they do because, so let's say it happened at 10 a.m., everyone's going to want their money back. Oh, yeah. Because I can't make... That's what happened the first day Disney Plus, Genie Plus launched. Yeah. So everyone was in that city hall trying to get their money back. Yeah, because if I can't make any selections, what's the point of me having it? Yeah. You know? So I'm like, I got to stand think, in line. To... I think some by the middle of the day it was working on the first day and then... The one person said they just started taking a bunch of photo pass photos to make the twenty dollars worth it. Yeah, so she's know. like, oh, "I guess I'll we'll just do this instead of standing in the line." I don't, I don't think that's going to satisfy a lot of people. <laughs> no, I mean if you're a you know regular, if, you, if, you're, a if you're just doing it for <laughs> the content or whatever, you're just like, "All right, I'll just take a bunch of photo pass photos." Yeah, but if you just traveled and you're there, oh, yeah. and you already paid like eighty bucks because they're a family of four. Mm-hmm. You're going to be like, I want my money back. <laughs> I want my money, JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. But I mean, this is, yeah, I'm glad it happened at the end of the day. But I know some people are probably like, what? I was, I wanted to go in Guardians or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. They lost money. For, I mean, they did because I was going to make um, a Radiator Springs. I was considering it, just buying it. Uh-huh. And then it went down. I was like, oh, well. Yeah, forget it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to stand in line to do that. Yeah. So. Mm. But, it, yeah, it, it is linked to your ticket. So there is, like, that is a good redundancy that they have. Mm-hmm. And um, and every cast member knows it. So you didn't have to stand in line, I guess, yet. Get services to find that out. Yeah. So, yeah. And we put it in the machine just as normal. And it read it. So, Yeah. Um, there were a lot of confused people. A lot of confused people, well, probably a lot of angry people too. So, you know. I know the the lady in front and behind me seemed calm, like almost like it's happened before or something. We're like, oh yeah, we just you know we had guardians, so we're just standing here to mm. see if we can still go on it. You know, <laughs> they were they seemed calm. They didn't seem mad or anything. Yeah. Well, I would have been mad like, for the same principle. That I talked about on the last show, you're like, well, I don't know if I can't see October, so I don't know if we can renew. I mean, oh, get yeah, another yeah. thing, you know, because even though our passes expire the fourth, we should be able to go any time in October before the fourth. Mm-hmm. And you're like, well, I can't see the thing. But as soon as we went in and scanned in, I just got one for October first, so we're good. I knew that's going to happen. Uh, Disney. Still no news on. Magic key renewals or magic keys in yeah, general. People are stressing. Or if magic keys will people are stressing ever out. exist anymore. Yeah. Maybe, well, maybe they're gonna recall revamp it and rebrand it to the JPEC program. <laughs> <laughs> the JPEC pass holder program. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> it's like a picture of him on the front. It's not even Mickey. <laughs> him staring at you <laughs> this uncanny valley she hulk face <laughs> it looks like he's like cgi <laughs> it's like <"Huh?" laughs> yeah well 
I don't know. I mean, I can see why people are upset. I mean, because when you think about it, when all is said and done, the Pass All the Program is basically a discount program. That's yeah. that's really what it is. Yeah. It's really, you can go there cheaper. Mm-hmm. As long as you go, you know, a lot of times during the year, it, it's cheap. Yeah. Compared to buying it one ticket at a time, you know. So I think, I, I forgot what our breakdown was, but usually for the upper end passes, if you go 10 that times, you've made your money back. Yeah, I think it was like seven or eight. Yeah, we we would probably end up going 30, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and it was something like that Dole with Float posted today that was interesting where she said the benefit of having a pass like that is there's no pressure to do everything when you go. You yeah. can just chill like we chilled and just be there and not have the pressure of riding every ride or, you know, tasting every mm. food. Um, so that is the benefit, too. Right. Like, you can just chill. Yeah. And and it's, to me, you know, I already broke down all my reasons why I go, but it, it, it just, it's a day, it's a fun day that you get a lot of stuff, food, fun, rides, and it, and it's like, once you go over a certain amount of times, it's like cheaper than just going out for dinner and a movie. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's what I'm trying to break down. You know, when I tell people this, it's like, yeah, it's expensive, but you're comparing, you're acting like they, it's expensive to people who stay home and that's all they, and they never go out. Mm-hmm. But if you're going out every weekend anyway, yeah, you're probably, you might not be paying as much you know, as you would for two people going, buying a Disney ticket. But if you're looking at how many times you go out over the year, and how many times we go to Disney, it gets cheaper and cheaper every time we go. Mm -hmm. Because then it gets divided out by how many times we go. And so if you're the type of person who says, you know, I want to, you know, let's say you and uh, you're married or you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you guys go out for a movie that's usually going to be around in the evening, not matinee. That's going to be around 30 bucks with popcorn and stuff. Maybe even a little more expensive. But let's say that's 30. Dinner is going to be 50. You know, that's 80. We're probably at, right now at the $80 Disneyland trip range. Yeah. You know, for, and the more we go, the cheaper it gets. So, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> well, you will be the first to know. We hear anything about magic keys. Yeah. <laughs> or lack thereof. <laughs> or whatever new program. Because <laughs> they don't renew, I'll, you know, the rest of the year, I'll just buy a three day pass. Yeah. And we'll still well, end up going. Two day, we usually do the two day, but unless they have the SoCal deal for the three day, which ends September 15th. Yeah. Which, which is what they did before. So it kind of means that they might be doing something in August, but we don't know. Yeah, mm. we don't know. We don't know. All we know is the calendar is totally open for Dream and Belief Keys <laughs> <laughs> after um, in September. Yeah. In October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Free for all. You guys can reserve if whatever. If you got one. <laughs> yeah. The reservation calendar. I, mean. I know. If they can get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, anything else about the parks? We did a little shopping. Oh, yeah. You and the goats. We got the goats. Greatest of all time. <laughs> um, tooth gnasher and, and tooth grinder. Yeah. Tooth yeah. and tooth grinder. Those are actually, those goats are from Thor, Love, and Thunder, but they're actually in the comics. Mm. He does have goats. Mm. And, and, they're, and they eat meat. They're carnivores. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> and they're not crazy and weird. They're, <laughs> they're actually, like, mean. Like, they fight in the comics. Like, they fight villains and stuff. Wow. Um, they do fly and they do pull his chariot. And they're as guardian goats. And so in the movie, he gets them as, you know, aliens give them to him. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty funny. They're cute. Uh, we took some pictures of them there and at home. Um, a lot of people were commenting on the Miss Marvel dress I took a picture of. Oh, yeah. A video of. And a lot of people were like, well, it's 120 I think what, 28 $128. $28. I'm telling you, the the quality of this particular costume. Mm-hmm. Or dress. It, or dress. They probably sell it at the dress shop in downtown Disney. Like, it's not, like, cheap. Right. It's not. Like stuff at the it, dress it, shop. It's, it was heavy. 
when mm. I picked it up. Like it, it was. Yeah, heavy. it's not a costume; it's a dress. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it it would last a long time, and it, I'm not gonna. I don't think it's handmade, but it's it's very good quality. Mm. Like it's like. I don't know. I don't know if it's, I was going to say it's like real leather on the straps and stuff, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can't confirm that. So, yeah, it, 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 if you picked it up, you would say, oh, yeah, this is worth $128. Yeah. <laughs> you know, especially if it's a Disney prices. Mm. So, um, yeah, they had a lots, lots of new stuff in there. And, of course, I got some more Infinity Stone stuff, but I'll mm-hmm. put that up, you know, this weekend. And... Got a new, got just a black Avengers hat. They've had it for, probably had that hat for a while. But since I think it's kind of dry fit material, I think it's pretty cool to wear to the park. Yeah. Because I have a black dry fit Mickey hat that I wear. Oh, yeah, I the wear Nike a black one. Hat. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, it's kind of good to have too. Because all my Star Wars stuff is just cotton. If it's hot, I don't want to wear them. Mm. Um, you got a shirt, but you haven't modeled it yet. You haven't, no. Yeah. I'll probably wear it next time if it's not too We'll hot. take a picture of her in it. And, yeah. Did we get anything else? We got the Infinity Stones. Yeah, I said that. Oh, you did? Um, yeah. Mm. Oh, we are... Caitlin, we did send out your thing, right? Yes, we sent <laughs> out Caitlin's watch. Yeah, she is the winner of our super fan giveaway for... Springtime, mm-hmm. some summertime, summertime, Summer. <laughs> and we're going to be doing another one, at least another one, probably two more before the end of the year. So, because we usually do one around Christmas, and we'll probably do one before that. So, lots of good stuff. All right, um, we're going to be talking about a lot of Comic Con and Marvel stuff, but I thought we'd just get into some taste talk before that. So. It's Taste Talk with Tracy. Mash some magic in your mouth. Well, this is an exciting one. We had the lobster corn dogs. We tried the lobster corn dogs um, that's new at the Magic Key Terrace and the bone marrow truffle mac and cheese. So let's start with the corn dogs. (laughs) I have a feeling the corn dogs is one lobster tail, and then they slice it in half, stuck it on a stick, then battered it with corn. Mm. Cornmeal? Yeah. Cornbread? <laughs> um, because, so the one order is one whole tail, I guess. Um, it seemed like there was a lot. I don't know. I mean, you might be right. Yeah. You know, because the whole tail is like this big, you know. I'm like, mm. So, anyways. Um, I thought it was good. Um, it, But they what was really good was that ramelade or whatever sauce or whatever on the <laughs> side. And it was really good dipping the corn dog in that. Um, and then arugula salad. Arugula is my favorite <laughs> kind of salad. So, Yeah, it was good. Um, I really liked it. I just think the more corn dogs, the better. Korean, um, the country of Korea has come out with a lot of cool corn yeah. dogs. The Korean corn dogs. <sighs> I, I still have to try that. Yeah. It looks so heavy and... Big. Well, they have so many different types. <laughs> yeah, they have the potato one, the the one with the cheese in the middle, the one with the actual hot dog in the middle, and their batter is different. Yeah. So, can't go wrong with a corn dog. I guess I mean, fair is going on. Arnold can get us in to try some <laughs> fair corn dogs. They might, they're not Korean, but... You never know. But, um, yeah, it was really good. Um, can't really go wrong with corn dogs. <laughs> 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 I liked it a lot. Um, the batter, because it's a corn dog, and the batter kind of overpowers the lobster a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but it's still really delicious. Yeah. So, what about the mac and cheese? It was a little bland, a lot bland. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, bone marrow, not enough marrow. You know, I come from. I mean, I'm Vietnamese. I'm. My people sip the marrow with a straw, you know. She wants to gnaw the leg off a cow. No, like there's like (laughs) much more marrow in pho. Anyways, not enough marrow. But Mm -hmm. it was not enough for me to know if it tastes good. (laughs) But then the mac and cheese, it's truffle. So a truffle is really a strong Mm -hmm. 
taste and I couldn't taste anything. And I even tried to just eat the truffle by itself and there was nothing. So so I just took the Ramalad sauce and put it in the mac and cheese and it's like, oh, yay, perfect. But yeah, it seemed like there wasn't any cheese in the mac. It was just creamy, but no cheese. So it looked really good, though. But it, yeah, it was bland. I think it was bland for comparing it to other mac and cheese. It was more gourmet. No, because the wine. Country, I, I, I like I. I didn't mind it. I don't. I don't think it was great, but I think it was good. You know the wine country just downstairs, yeah. Trattoria has Alfredo that's really good and tasty, and that's but creamy Alfredo's and strong. cheesy. Yeah. So it has to be at least garlicky or something. I just felt like it was just pasta and cream, yeah. like no garlic. But that's not like, like a gourmet. Food no, taste. I've eaten gourmet. Like Jazz Kitchen has gourmet mac and cheese, and that was yeah, really good there. Gourmet. I'll t- I'll, maybe it's my fault. I haven't taken you to enough gourmet restaurants. Whatever. I know what gourmet <laughs> pasta is. We'll see. <laughs> I was going to take you to a, one this weekend, but then. Yeah, that's tasty. Yeah. But a gourmet mm. place doesn't, pasta place doesn't make mac and cheese. So if you're going to make mac and cheese. Yeah, it would taste like that. No, I've had pasta that is creamy before and it ha- it's garlicky and tasty because Italians use anchovy. That's why I like Italian food. I think you think street food is gourmet. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're like David So talking about Marvel movies. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, let's get into some Marvel stuff. Um, Ooh, I have my list in order. Yours is not in order. <laughs> Mine's in order. <laughs> Proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who made it. How do you mean it's your list? Have, you should have the same list. We have no, a shared. L- we have my list is in order. Mm. My li- if you looked at our post, you oh, you mean in order chronological order of yeah. when they, things come out? Yeah. Well, I'm going to do TV shows and then. Fine. All yeah. right, you, you can take it away. No, your even your TV show is not right because you have Daredevil, and that's not coming out till like next year. Yeah, but that was the biggest announcement. Okay, yeah, go ahead, do yours. <laughs> so yeah, so Comic Con was cool. I had a lot of friends who went. They were like sending me stuff <laughs> there. AJ was there, blew out a tire on his way there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Felt bad, but he made it. Um, but yeah, the biggest announcement. It's from the television side, from Disney Plus side, is Daredevil's going to get his own show, and it's going to be 18 episodes. Yeah. And they called it season one of Daredevil. Yeah. Born again. Born again. And when you think about Charlie Cox, because he's returning, D'Onofrio's returning, mm-hmm. it's going to be a lot of, you know, a lot of people who are on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Um, the amount of work that he's getting right now. Just in, on Disney Plus, when you think about somebody who was not on Disney Plus for so long, and then now, you know, he made his appearance in No Way Home, mm-hmm. Spider Man, and then he's going to be on the Echo Show. Oh, yeah. Out. He's going to get, and then he's also, we saw, he's going to be in She Hulk. Yeah. And then on top of that, an 18 episode season. Sheesh, he's getting a lot of work. It's like everybody who complained about, he's you like know, Wong now. You know, Disney Plus. I know. <laughs> In every movie. <laughs> yeah. But it's like everyone who complained about like the six episode seasons mm-hmm. that, you know, Disney Plus keeps having. It's like, okay, fine. Well, we'll multiply you, it by three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you three times the amount of Daredevil. Because <laughs> 18 episodes, I mean, that's almost too much. Yeah, that's too much. Because you know how I just want things to end already. I don't know. I might wait and binge it. <laughs> well, I think that. <sighs> It depends what they do. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the Bo- Born Again was a storyline in the comics, mm-hmm. but I don't think they're going to stick to that. It was, mm-hmm. it, it was, it was it, they could, but there's not a lot of action in it. It's mm-hmm. kind of like more of like a who done it, and you know, it's kind of like Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, Daredevil, where he's kind of just down and out, and his life's being ruined. He doesn't know why. Maybe they're redoing all three because. Wasn't it three seasons? 
That's Netflix. what I. That's what They're I'm thinking. They're just putting it all and redoing it again. Or what they could be doing is an origin story. Yeah. And they show him as a kid for like three episodes. Yeah. You know, or they kind of they kind of give him the Boba Fett treatment, just more coherent. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like flashbacks plus this plus this. Yeah. You know, him training in Japan with Stick because I think mm-hmm. he, he was actually in Japan for a while. Um, and how like, he met Electra. <laughs> yeah, and all and all this stuff, and then. And, and then they could like in, do interludes of like the snap and all this stuff that's MCU, oh. like because maybe he was one of the people who um who got snapped. No, he didn't get snapped. Oh. That because there's that five year period where we haven't covered a lot of territory, right? Oh, so it, then like he would be like one of the only superheroes in New York at that time. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then maybe it's like him and Hawkeye get into it because Hawkeye is going around killing all these villains and he's not really a killer. And so they could do a lot, you know, with 18 episodes, kind of bringing the entire Daredevil franchise up to date. Mm. So hopefully that's what they do. I hope it's not just some weird storyline that they're just trying to stretch for 18 (laughs) episodes. It's like... There's only she's, some. There there's only so much of Karen Page I can take. Oh, oh, she's annoying. <laughs> she's another annoying one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least the Netflix Karen Page is annoying. I don't know if any other Karen Page is annoying. <laughs> well, her name's Karen. So. So uh, we already <laughs> mentioned it, but then they did release the uh, next She-Hulk trailer. Next She-Hulk trailer. And this one was a lot better. The CGI was better. It's going to be hard to get that CGI perfect. Because yeah. she's green and then she's a woman so she wears makeup anyway. It's kind of weird because she Hulk wears makeup and she's mm-hmm. green. Oh, so it's she kind just of like, wears green makeup. Yeah. It's, like green foundation. Yeah. It's yeah. funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder, I mean, Vision and Hulk was, Vision was colorful. Yeah. it. <laughs> but it's not CGI. He probably has makeup. Even the Hulk doesn't look as good as he does in the movies. You know? Oh, yeah, because shows have le- um, less, less budget. budget. Yeah. CGI is super expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, once we crack quantum computing and where AI can just do the drawing itself, then, mm. you know, like you want, just replace everyone's job with, mm. with AI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things will look a lot better. Um, but but it, it is a lot better than the first trailer, though. So I think they're just continuing to update and update. And by the time the show comes out, it'll look, you know, 10 times better than the first trailer. Yeah. But I don't really care because it's more of a, she's a kind of a comedic satire of a Mm -hmm. superhero. She's funny. They make fun of her. They use her to make fun of like all the sexualization of women in comics Mm. because she's like this. I mean, you talk about a bombshell. She's literally, she's Mm -hmm. like, she's eight feet tall. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know? Um... And she likes to stay in that form. Right. She doesn't want to go back to her. It like, sounds like in the like trailer. Banner always liked being Banner. Mm-hmm. She likes being the Hulk. Mm. <laughs> but then again, she has, and you can see in the trailer, she has natural control mm-hmm. better than he did. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's some funny things. She breaks the fourth wall like Deadpool. Mm-hmm. So she'll talk to the camera. Yeah. And then people will be like, what? You know? <laughs> and I think they should... And I know that she does that in the comics and they're just kind of fitting that into the story. I think they should tie that to the bigger multiverse. Mm. Like how they talked about Nexus beings and stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe they could fit in part of the storyline to what, you know, just leading into some of the bigger stuff that we'll talk about later to where those particular characters that break the fourth wall are the Nexus beings. They're the ones who know that there's other universes out there and they, and they're just aware Mm-hmm. Because there's a couple, there's already two other people who've done it. Scarlet Witch, she's broken the fourth wall technically in in Wandavision. You know, she made her own fourth wall, but yeah, yeah, you know, um, and she's a she's already a multiversal dreamwalker type, mm-hmm. and Deadpool. So it's, it would be a good way to kind of like bring these special, and it's cool because it'd be random people that don't have anything except that in common yeah you know but. it's funny remember when in falcon and winter soldier they thought she was the one who would appear mm-hmm. would yeah. be the cameo because they're in court and she's yeah. like ah she i was like what <laughs> all these weird theories <laughs> 
And again, Daredevil appeared at the end of, of the trailer. Yeah. And it was kind of like, and everyone's like, oh, they're going to fight? Like, all these people are like online, like, he can't do anything to her. He has no, he's, he, his superpowers is just be able to see her better, <laughs> you know, <laughs> smell her, you know, sense her better. Yeah. It, there's nothing, you know, his firm aside, like, he has like normal human strength. You yeah. know, he's not going to be able to, you know, there's nothing he could do to show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. So Daredevil's not a mutant. He's like Hawkeye, but just fights well, better. Well, he could be right? a mutant. He's he does human. he does technically have powers. It's just they're not physical. Mm. You know, he like has he gets this, super sense power. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, he throws a punch at She-Hulk. It's like me throwing a punch at a building. It's not, <laughs> not going to do anything. So they make it look like they're going to fight, but it would be the most hilarious fight in the world. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I think he might be a love interest. Really? <laughs> I, I think that's the only way they, they would hook up. That's the only thing that she, she wants from him. She get together with, um, what's his name? The other strong guy in New York. Ooh, Luke Cage. Oh, Luke Cage, yeah. He hooks Except- up with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Ooh, they should bring back ahsoka ahsoka i mean not the, the uh, lady the Rosario nurse Rosario dawson yes yeah the night nurse the night nurse maybe but she's already in enough disney properties yeah <laughs> she's too busy with ahsoka <laughs> so yeah that looked like it was a good show it's going to uh, connect to a lot of marvel stuff because i think there's going to be different villains every episode Mm-hmm. And she's going to be representing them, and they already have Wong in there, which he seems to connect to everything. The Wong <laughs> I was like say he's the he's the new little John, where he cameos and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or DJ Khaled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Agatha, Coven of Chaos. I don't know. I'm not looking for it. I mean, that's the only one I'm not excited about. I mean, I'll watch it, but I'm like, what? What are they gonna? I think it'd be cool if she is going after the Scarlet Witch. And Oh yeah, because she's going to like wake up from the spell when the Scarlet Witch destroyed all the dark hold. Yeah. And she's going after her and 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 it's kind of like uh it's it's going to be one of those things that needs some cool cameos. Mm. And and by cameos I don't necessarily just mean any random Stuff, but like more of the mystical stuff. Mm-hmm. So maybe we'll get to see Nightmare and all the other stuff that people speculated on. Maybe finally Mephisto. Mm-hmm. Um, and if she's like really trying to seek revenge on the Scarlet Witch, it's a good way to kind of bring her back into the MCU. So, um, yeah, I mean, it could be cool. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of one of those wait and see ones. Yeah. All right. And then the other shit next show we have is Secret Invasion. So I don't know anything about that other than Nick Fury. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a story that's squashed down. Mm. And because in the comics, it was a whole thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like the scrolls were just replacing superheroes and they were replacing them with their powers. They Mm -hmm. could copy their powers. Oh. Because scrolls aren't able to copy powers. Right. And they figured out a way to do that. Mm. And that could potentially connect to a lot of things because the reason in the comic books why they wanted to you know, kind of take over Earth was because because Galactus destroyed their the Scroll homeworld, mm-hmm. and so it would connect to Galactus, it connect to all things. But I, I don't think this is going to be. I mean, it's probably going to connect to the Marvel somewhat, mm-hmm. but um, you know, we'll see. You know, mm-hmm. and, and I don't know if it's going to be. Again, this could be another one that's during the blip, mm-hmm. so that would make a lot of sense. Uh, half your population gets wiped out and then people could, it'd be really easy to replace people. Ah. Uh, so. But Fury isn't there during the book. That's why it'd be really easy to replace him. Oh. <laughs> so that would make sense. But I, I you know, I, I, and the only reason I think they might do it that way is because it's so contrary to everything else they're doing. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really have anything to do with Kang or anything like that. It's basically shape shifting you know, frog people, <laughs> you know, so yeah, it'd be a kind of a cool, you know, what happened during the blip thing. So, um, we'll Iron see. Heart. Iron Heart. You'll first see her name is Riri Williams. You'll first see her in Wakanda forever. 
Um, she's in the trailer. She's, she's in the, the trailer. Little girl in red. You know, shaking hands with Sherry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the comics, a lot of people don't like her. Well, I don't know if a lot of people like her or not. She had her own comic. Mm-hmm. I think it did pretty well. She's kind of the only thing that I'm disappointing is because I don't think they're going to play her the way she, they played her in the comics when she actually meets Wakandans. Mm-hmm. Because I think it's kind of like they wanted to renew because she's a black young superhero and, you know, she's just as smart as Sherry. She's mm-hmm. super genius. She's mm-hmm. actually the, when you think about the heir to Iron Man, she's, mm-hmm. she's the heir to Iron Man. Mm-hmm. She, in the comics, what happens is, is that Tony Stark kind of dies because Carol Danvers kills him almost, mm-hmm. puts him in a coma. Mm-hmm. And he basically backed up his consciousness via AI. Mm. And then the AI becomes her mentor. She builds her own Iron Man suit out of scrap. Oh, the AI is her mentor, but not actually Tony yeah. Stark. Yeah. It's kind of like a force ghost in Star yeah, Wars. Yeah. It's like a tech ghost in Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, and she becomes her, and she builds her own Iron Man armor, and then he starts helping her, and yeah, she's basically his heir. But what the, when she met the Wakandans, it's like, you see the trailer for Wakanda Forever, it's like, they're all getting along, it's mm-hmm. cool. She went there, because she's kind of like, you have to understand, like, how it would work in the real world. Mm-hmm. Like, she's this kind of American teenager from MIT going to Wakanda, and it wasn't like, you know, oh, yeah, black girl magic it wasn't like that mm-hmm. it was like wait you guys have like like royalty that's like not a democracy here like it was like she was like woke yeah. and she was like she's like getting on their nerves <laughs> because Wakanda is pretty conservative i yeah. mean they're progressive as far as their technology and you know women's rights and stuff but when it, but they're really old school when it comes to like their politics yeah. like they're isolationist they're mm-hmm. nationalistic mm-hmm. they're they're a monarchy <laughs> yeah, they, they don't, don't share their technology. They don't share the, the, yeah. the stuff around the world. So she's like, you don't share your stuff and you're a monarchy. I mean, you can, you don't vote. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was like totally getting on Sherry's nerves in the car because that's to me is how it would work because Americans have a total, she was like an American in another country. She was just like, kind of totally, like Killmonger when he, you know. Yes. If he, she wasn't trying to conquer, she was just being an annoying, criticizing, yeah. you know, Zoomer. Yeah. You know, it was just like, you, 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 you don't do this and <laughs> you don't do that. And like, <laughs> they were all, <laughs> she was just totally insulting them and they were all mad at her, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because to me, it was like, no, black people aren't a monolith. You can't, mm-hmm. you know, you don't, a black girl from, MIT, MIT, super, even if she's a super genius, you put her in another country, it's not, just because they're dead black, it's not mean they're going to be mixed the same, mm-hmm. you know? It's not going to be all groovy. It's mm-hmm. like, we're just like any other people, mm-hmm. you know? Can't just take some Irishman and put him in <laughs> Norway and he's just going to fit in. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, no. So, um, and I thought that issue of the comics was actually really funny, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think everyone's just going to get along. You know, which is not realistic, but we'll see. I haven't seen the movie, so we can't say. Mm-hmm. But I think it is cool if they do bring back Tony Stark or Robert Downey Jr. in any form or fashion. Yeah. People are going to love it. All right. Now, on to the movies. And by the way, there is one thing. It was um, I posted it. On the, you know, uh what was it you know three and a half two and a half men that one television show Mm -hmm. you know with what's his name you know it's like this meme of like you know i think i forgot something and has like marvel and then and then has um you know he's like well you forgot it's probably not important and he (laughs) says i guess you're right and then so armor wars oh (laughs) they didn't talk anything about it (laughs) Did they scrap that? <laughs> uh, no, but it's like, where was it's, it? They talked about every single yeah, thing. Yeah, no, they put everything in order of when everything's coming out. And, and then, then, yeah. There's no... It's like they wars. forgot about it. <laughs> what the heck? So, which would link with um, Ironheart directly. That's a know? show, though, right? Not a movie? Yeah, it'd be a show. Oh. So, I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, but they did forget it. And even if they canceled it, they forgot to mention that. So, we'll see. But yes, the big um, emotional reveal was the Wakanda Forever trailer. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah, that was that was emotional. And they picked the right music. Um, Ryan Coogler, you know, he is definitely the um, he's definitely a master of his craft. And uh, we will see. There's a lot of questions to be answered. It got, I think, in the first 24 hours, got 84 million views. Wow. So, yeah. I mean, there's a new character, Namor. New character's yeah. the MCU. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be big. And I think they they were looking at merch and stuff, and I forgot. He's supposed to be from Atlantis. It's kind of like, a lot of people say he's like Marvel's version of Aquaman. DC, yeah, DC. I mean, uh, yeah, it's Marvel's version of oh, DC's oh. Aquaman. Because he's half human and half fish. Yeah, and he ruled Atlantis. <laughs> but the... But the funny thing is, is that in the comics, he actually predated um, Aquaman by like, yeah, like so a Yeah, so Aquaman year. copied him. DC yeah. copied Marvel. Yeah. Um, and and it looks like he's kind of ages slow, which is true, because in the comics, he fought in World War II with Captain America. Mm. So he's kind of a, he's not a villain, but he's kind of like, just imagine if Aquaman was like the Punisher. <laughs> yeah, he's like an anti-hero. Yeah, he's just kind of like, I'm going to protect my kingdom, and I don't really care about the surface dwellers type mm-hmm. of guy, you know. Yeah. Um, he has huge connections with the Fantastic Four. He actually crushes on Sue Storm, like Mrs. Fantastic. Mm. <laughs> it always creates, like, you know, beef with him and the, um, and the thing. Um, Mr. Fantastic doesn't seem to really care. <laughs> he's kind mm. of just aloof and smart. Mm. But yeah, I think that uh, that's going to be huge because he's also supposed to be a mutant, like officially, not even like just the MCU mutant. He's a mutant in the comics. So we will see how that plays out. Um, obviously, they show like him flooding Wakanda, mm-hmm. which he did in the comics when he had the Phoenix Force. Um, and yeah, you know, and when it c- came down to Secret Wars... Him and T'Challa were still enemies. Um, T'Challa, and this is, I'm not spoiling anything because this only happened in the comics. T'Challa, because he flooded Wakanda. He's being manipulated by Dr. Doom, the goat. Mm -hmm. (laughs) The one who we all all wait for. But uh, when time runs out, when the incursions were like destroying all the universes, you know, he thought that he was going to be on the this raft that they were building to um, escape. And T'Challa's like, no, don't. I just want you to remember, you know, I didn't forget what you did. Stabs him with, with his father's knife. Oh, wow. And then Black Bolt, because they're all, three of them are kings. Mm-hmm. So Namor's a king. You know, T'Challa was a king. Then Black Bolt, he saw in um, Multiverse of Madness as a king of the mm-hmm. Inhumans. <laughs> Black Panther stabs him with the knife. He's like, you think the knife could hurt me? And he's like, no, I'm just putting it where it belongs. Black Bolt and Black Bolt's like, goodbye. Boom. And it blows him off the oh. thing. <laughs> but he ends up surviving, though. And on Battle World, which we hope that they're going to be doing, and we'll talk about that later, um, him and Turkala actually become um, allies. So it was pretty cool, you know. John Hickman did the storylines and it was awesome. So, yeah. Captain America, New World Order. Don't know a lot about this one, but we know it's going to be Sam, at least at first, up front. Yeah, that's new, not new till Captain May American. 24. Yeah. So, like, two years from now. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, looking forward to that. Don't know if Old Cap's coming back. But there is, you know, a lot of people are saying, I think I said it last episode, that what people are really missing and Wong has kind of filled the shoes, but it's big shoes to fill, but they're really missing Captain America and Iron Man mm. because they're kind of like this missing piece of when you used to watch the other phases, mm. you always know they were out there handling Avengers business mm. or at least scheming. Even when they didn't like each other, mm-hmm. it was like, you know, something went down. One of the other is going to like call it in and, they could get together. Now it's kind of like all this stuff, crazy stuff is happening. There's stuff going on in Moon Knight. There's stuff going on in Falcon and Winter Soldier. There's stuff going on in Wanda and Vision and Spider-Man. And it's, it seems like everything is happening in its own universe. It's not, it doesn't seem as connected. Mm-hmm. Now, I think there's going to be a plan. And I, well, I think there is a plan, but 
I can understand why other people are saying, oh, it just doesn't feel the same way it felt before. But like I said, you know, Feige, Feige knows what he's doing. Yeah. So, um, again, I don't know what this is about, but hopefully it's pretty cool. You know, a new world order kind of connotates like conspiracy theories and stuff like that. So hopefully they do get into that kind of stuff. I'm all down for that. The Thunderbolts. They confirmed that movie. And the Thunderbolts in the comics was led by Baron Zemo. Um, Thunderbolt Ross was kind of what they were. Well, they actually weren't originally named after him, but it became his team. So mm -hmm. it just made sense. Um, the Abomination, who we're seeing in She-Hulk, is, mm -hmm. is a member of the Thunderbolts. We already know the Zemo's around. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a few other people, but uh, they're US kind of... U.S. agent. U.S. agent, yeah. He was a member. So Possibly Yelena. Oh, she was a member. Yeah, so yeah. we actually have a lot of official members already. Yeah. And they're kind of like, I don't want to say the anti-Avengers. Yeah, if the, the Avengers the were anti-heroes. <laughs> Like yeah. the defenders, yeah, but they were they're more evil because all of these people will kind of have shady past. Oh, <laughs> you know, some of them were just outright villains, <laughs> you know. So, and there's the dark Avengers, which are even darker than the Thunderbolts. Oh, but I think they're they're not going to go that far. But um, yeah, um, looking forward to it. But I want to see how it connects because this is I don't is this Phase Four for the Thunderbolts? I mean, not Phase Four, Phase Five. I don't know because the phases don't make sense to me. I just know the order, mm. and I don't know what the phases mean. I think it's yeah. I, I think almost everything is phase five because the first one in phase five is. Oh is, yeah, yeah. Because phase six is, is fantastic. Quantum, quantum mania starts off phase five, I think. Yes. So, um, so yeah, let's talk. Quantum mania uh, is going to be the first one. And it's going to be a lot different Ant-Man than... Wakanda Mania comes out after Wakanda Forever. Yeah. So I think um, Wakanda Forever ends Phase 4. Yes. Or at least uh, in the movies. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Because I don't know if Quantum Mania is part of Phase 4 or beginning of Phase 5 or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole thing, it was announced that the whole thing is called the um, Multiverse Saga. Yeah. Because the last one was the Infinity Saga. Mm hmm They're just getting bigger and better. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Then we have... Um, so we have Ant-Man. That's going to be crazy. Mania, February 23. Mm-hmm. And they already have footage that they showed at Comic-Con, but they didn't release that. Guardians of the Galaxy, they showed footage of three that they didn't release online yet. Um, but they did say it was the last. The last of that story yeah. arc, yeah. And probably should be, you know. It's they're they're more of a comical team. Yeah, that's true. They don't. And really, they all they're always out world, like not in this. Yeah, they're kind of like Captain Marvel. They're never there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because they don't. They're not. They don't belong on Earth, so they're never in. They're never here. <laughs> right. So then they started. Um, so Fantastic Four will start Phase Six, I believe. Yeah. But now there's a lot of spaces in Phase 6 that are missing. Yeah, but. so November 8th, 2024 is Fantastic Four. Then there's a bunch of um, things missing until the, first, the next Avengers movie. And I think those things missing are probably going to be X-Men titles. Yeah, and they'll probably announce it at T23. Yeah, because we already know that they're working on a Deadpool movie. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to... I don't know how long... I mean... I think it would be just too much to just save the X Men for Phase Seven when this whole thing is over, mm. this saga is over. But you never know. But if they have it, they might as well try to make money off it. They pushed it off far enough. And then the big announcements came: um, Avengers: Kang Dynasty and Avengers: Secret Wars. So six months apart, so you get two Avengers in, in one, one year. year. And I'm always wondering why they would do that, but I. Don't know if they're going to keep that schedule. I think it's ambitious, mm. but we've seen movies get moved before. Yeah, so. even the last phase, mm -hmm. phase four, got moved around. Yeah. And we're behind. We were supposed to see Wakanda Forever in July. Mm hmm Right? <laughs> so I still don't know. But even if it gets moved, I think it'll just shift. 
So those things, those two Avengers movies will still be together. Yeah. You know, to still six months apart, I mean. Yeah. And I, it does remind me, I did leave out, um, you know, some of the TV shows. I mean, I already mentioned Echo, um, but we did leave out Loki 2. Loki 2. Oh, and you left out the Marvels movie after oh, yeah. Quantumania. Mm-hmm. And Blade. Oh, movie. that's right. So. Yeah. So Loki 2 is going to actually obviously lead into the Kang stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Still, this is the multiverse of saga. So I'm wondering if they're rewriting stuff to where the time sp- timeline splitting in the multiverse is really kind of the same thing because they were kind of separating it at the beginning. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. But the way they have the Kang Dynasty, that's the time travel stuff. Mm-hmm. And the Kang Dynasty, and then there's Kang, there's the Council of Kang. So I don't know if they're just using that as a name because there's a couple of storylines in the comics that involve Kang. One is, it seems like the way they're doing it in the MCU is that they're facing different versions, different variants of Kang. Mm-hmm. And then in the comics, Kang Dynasty is like, it's like him and his descendants, you know, there's, and that's one way. And then there's the Kang. Then there's the Council of Kangs, which is like, those are the variants. Mm. But we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, they can do anything they want, really. <laughs> <laughs> but he's kind of like the big bad. And then they're going to go, and that leads into Secret Wars, obviously, because that's the next Avengers movie, and it's the same year. My thing is, is that, and this is what I hope they don't do, but it seems like they, they might do, is they're going to make Doctor Doom a variant of Kang. Really? That's going to make me mad. <laughs> but it makes sense because you have to build him up. Mm. But to connect to that in a certain way, I can see them doing that. So we'll see. Mm. I don't know. But uh, in the comics, um, Dr. Doom was the main villain of Secret Wars, not Kang. Kang actually in the original Secret Wars got blown out of the sky by Doom because he was annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much Doom is above Kang. <laughs> because Kang at one point thought that um, he might be a descendant of Dr. Doom. And Doom's like, I, I would never be related to you. And just shot him. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the best one-liners. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the long and the short of it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to look forward to. Um, <laughs> lots of movies, and we haven't even got a lot of them. Lots of jokes so far. <laughs> about, they said about when they announced the Avengers in 2025. <laughs> Marvel nerds, you better start doing your cardio and staying healthy so that you can live to see <laughs> Avengers in 2025. <laughs> 2026. <laughs> no, the, the oh yeah, the yeah. The, the, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But you know, when you think about it, you know, for all of this to come out in only three years, yeah, that's a lot to come out in three years. Yeah, that is a lot. That's a lot. So, yeah. Oh, and then um, Destin Daniel Creighton is. Uh, he's going to be directing, directing King. King, King Dynasty. King Avengers, Dynasty. King Dynasty. Yep. He yeah, did Shang Chi. Yeah, that's. I think that's pretty cool. I think he did a good job. There's some theories as to why they picked him. The Russo, everyone wanted the Russo brothers to come back, but I think, you know, new blood's good. And I think that also, like they said, like, um, Chloe Zhao, Mm -hmm. you know, there was a lot of like conflict between her and Kevin Feige. Mm. Like you get some of these people who are like, I don't, I don't know. They're all artists, Mm -hmm. but then there's the artist who knows, the, the business. The Marvel formula. Or is willing to adapt. Yeah. It's not like my vision, my way of the highway. Because mm-hmm. cause artists don't want any of their vision to be tainted. And then I think sometimes as a director, you need to understand that you're you're there. It's kind of like when I commission art. Mm-hmm. You know, I want what I want. Mm-hmm. I can't draw it. I'm, I'm paying you to draw it. But I want what I want. You know? Yeah. And I thought a lot of directors don't see it that way. It's like, no, it's my vision. You hired me to have yeah, a, let because me I'm do good. My thing. Let me yeah. do my thing. But 
you have to realize you're at that point, whoever does like King Dynasty, you know, you're 30 something movies deep. Yeah, you have you're, to you're part of something. Formula. Yeah, you're part of something that's so much bigger than you. And picking a, a relatively new, I mean, it's not new, but yeah, you know, n- but younger somebody who's still his going style. to be a legend yeah, and his style. It's like, he understands like, you know, to adapt. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth is never going to really make a big stink uh, on any MCU movie. Cause the MCU movies kind of made him who he is. Mm-hmm. Now he can do, go out and do other stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's kind of his birthplace. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I think he probably did some smaller stuff before that, mm-hmm. but not much. He's relatively unknown. Mm-hmm. So, I think this is kind of the same way with, you know, Destin. It's mm-hmm. it's going to be like, hey, you know, I got my big break, you know, directing an MCU movie and I know the system. Yeah, I get it. I that. got it. We go. Yeah. You know, I know Foggy's in charge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Papa Foggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Papa Foggy knows what he's doing. Um, so let's roll with this. And I think that's a, it's a good choice. Yeah. So... Because you look at the Eternals, it was a great movie. It was a great sci-fi movie, but it doesn't feel like an MCU movie. No, and that's what a lot of people's you know complaints about it were. You know, so it was because yeah. if, if it was just a movie that didn't have anything to do with the MCU, it'd be like, wow, that's interesting. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't yeah. fit with the Shang Chi, mm-hmm. Falcon Winter Soldier type yeah. of mold. Like yeah, Winter Soldier. You know. Yeah. Um. Or even the Guardians of the Galaxies, you wanted to be cosmic. It wasn't yeah. funny. It wasn't, it was just, it was very cinematic. It was very Chloe Zhao, you yeah. know, but I don't know if you want to get an Academy Award winning director to do an MCU film. Right. Because it's like, well, yeah, they're going to come in with their own cachet and they're going to yeah. be. Like, Doesn't go with the MCU culture. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. they're going to come in with their own culture. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm an Academy Award winner. Who are you to tell me what to do? Yeah. You know, how many Academy Awards do you have? You know, that's right, it. that's kind right. of their attitude, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so well, how many box office did you <laughs> bits did you have? <laughs> you know. And this is just like, well, now I'm at a big studio because they look that's how they look at it. Yeah. Like I can make you better. You yeah. can't make me better. Right. You know, I'm the genius, you know. <laughs> so yeah. But um anything else to wrap it up for Marvel? Yeah, it's going to be fun. And by the way, this isn't even counting Star Wars stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this, is all, this is just Marvel. Well, the Star Wars stuff we it was announced during Star Wars Celebration, and those were all exciting. And then Marvel made it more exciting. And so can't wait to see what other stuff they'll announce within the MCU during D23. I mean, like you said, it might be X-Men, Deadpool yeah. stuff. But yeah. it's still more. We're thinking fulfilling. the whole cast of the Fantastic Four maybe during D23. Oh, maybe We're that'll thinking. be revealed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess what I'm saying is, is it's if you're a nerd, it's a great time to be a nerd, <laughs> unless you know, world ends or something. <laughs> That'd be a cruel joke. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now. Well, Magic Band Plus went on sale this week. <laughs> um on I think it was Shop Disney, I think. But it was like thirty four ninety nine, but you can upgrade it upgrade it for another ten dollars to get, you know, different upgrades and designs, I think, or something. Mm. So we'll see how it goes. And it's some people did start already testing it out and it does does like blink or change colors yeah i saw it during the fireworks, fireworks. Yeah. yeah so that's cool i'm interested to see what else it does <laughs> um, it's probably all it does <laughs> yeah i mean what else it does in addition to regular magic band yeah um the matterhorn will be closing august 8th for refurbishment so i guess we have to go on it the next yeah we're there definitely no um reopening date yet but something else reopened which is finding nemo mm. that- claustrophobic ride <laughs> <laughs> man how do you ride that now with covid and stuff yeah like, that that is like literally a, has like it's worse than a cruise then that was way worse than a cruise it's in a hole in a box with other people underwater no <laughs> ventilation yes yeah, underwater mm. so there's no ventilation <laughs> yeah that's 
I'm just wondering how people do it if they had a baby with a dirty diaper down there. <laughs> or even if it was 90 degrees. Yeah. I mean, I mean they, do have, see, some, they do have some. They do have some. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going on that ride. Even mm-hmm. before all this COVID stuff, I wasn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, Lightyear will be on Disney Plus August 3rd. Cool. Next Wednesday. Glad we'll I watch waited. It. Yeah, we'll definitely watch it. We'll review it. Yeah. So here is the She Hulk. So 1888 She Hulk. Yeah. Let's see if I could play. Okay, this time recorded as She Hulk. What? Yep. Wait, yep. You know they can't see me, right? Uh, okay, whatever. Your call is very important to us. Our associates are unavailable to take your call at this time, but please stay on the line to hear about our services here at GLK and H. Have you been fined for thousands of dollars worth of damage to the city you were trying to protect? Did you accidentally create a sentient robot who got the feels and tried to destroy the world? Maybe you're an Asgardian god who leaves a giant burning imprint on private property every time you arrive on Earth. I know who she's talking about. We've got your back. Mm -hmm. Our associates at the Superhuman Law Division of GLKH will fight for your rights to fight for everyone else's rights because that's what superheroing is all about. But don't take my word for it. Here's some testimonials from our satisfied clients. And, and then this is where we'd include the fire right? Yeah, like with their photo next to Once again, phone line. They can't see us. <laughs> All right, that was it. <laughs> yeah, we dialed the number and then we recorded it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It is pretty funny. She is funny. And I think it's going to be a really funny show. And it's only, I think we only have to wait like a couple of weeks. So um, it's Yeah, it's August 17th, I think. Yeah. yeah. So... Looking forward to that. All right. Um, we'll have another podcast next week, but then we're going to be going to Disney the Saturday following that. So Yes. <sighs> Lots of stuff to go over. Lots of stuff to see. Lots of stuff to be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm Tracy. Stay magical. Bye. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe and visit us at www.ropedroppingknowledge.com.